Okay, I just thought I'd go ahead and make an advanced um, Angular deployment, show you how to deploy it to any hosting environment. Uh, it's pretty simple, actually. Um, what we're going to do is you need to understand that you need to have your code cleaned up. Um, all your scripting files need to be cleaned up. Um, if you have any test files need to be cleaned up. Uh, just basically anything that might be thrown in error anywhere in there. And if any of your imports, and I found this to be a problem, that's the only way I'm pointing it out. Uh, if any of your imports in your modules up here or any import throughout any TS file you have, uh, if you have anything spelt with the capital on accident, it doesn't catch the capital reference here in the actual in, in the import string. So you have to change that because I could change that to a capital letter. And it's not going to change. So if you got any capital letters or anything like that, just make sure you change them down to lowercase. Other than that, you're good to go. So here's how it works. Let's go to our index.html file. Um, essentially what we're doing is we are crunching down this entire app into about seven different files. Um, if you have photos and images into your assets folder, you're going to have a couple extra files, but I don't have any. So um, I'm going to have seven files when this is done out of all these files, and it's going to crunch them all down. Now, what I essentially have to do is type in ng build, which will cause the uh, Angular system to go ahead and crunch and build it and you you don't want to just leave off with this because this isn't going to give you the full production um, version of your build um, so we're going to type in dosh dosh prod which will give us the production uh, value which will actually uh, give us a version that uh, deploys the production environment uh, it bundles and concatenates our application and library files um, it minifies and removes white spaces comments cleans it all up makes it really good for us eliminates any unreferenced modules and um, any dead code inside of our, our file so it's it re really works well and I always just as habit because I've always done it typed in dash dash AOT now depending on what version you got it, the the newer one's supposed to ship with that in this in this production it's supposed to ship with the AOT which is the ahead of time compiler it compiles your HTML and TypeScript into the JavaScript code that runs in the browser um, the where the browser downloads it um, before it runs uh, that's what the AOT the ahead of time compiler is um, it's supposed to run in the production but I don't, it's not always been the case in, in my instance so um, it's up to you. You don't have to use it, but I always say, why? Well, you know, five extra characters. Why not type them? Um, other than that, all you need to do is specify what folder on the internet your application is going to be sitting in. Now, if you got brand new hosting and you have a domain lined out for this application that you're building, um, then by all means, leave this here alone. Just leave a regular forward slash. So that way, you can drop this in your public HTML file or whatever bucket you have on your Amazon hosting, whatever hosting you have, uh, if it's directed. Uh, the forward slash indicates and represents the index.html file. It's the next step within the folder logic of uh, any type of directory movement. So <clears throat> when you see a directory folder, such as this one, app to do, then you put a forward slash, that lets it know that there's possibly another step that it can take to access anything within that file. So um, that's why you just leave that alone. That's why we need that file to indicate. It's, it stands for the index.html file. That's what it looks for. That's where it searches, index.html, um, your main home page. So, but if you don't, then you're gonna wanna do something like this. Um, you're gonna create a directory anywhere you want uh, set up. I've just set up a folder uh, straight up here under my public HTML. Now I got a bunch of different um, add-on domains for different websites I have here. I can go inside of here and set up a folder anywhere inside any of these and they all got different domains. The one domain that's pointing to this uh, for me is called the surfingthecoast.com um, and you can see here I got these different file folders here um, and here's the index folder and here's just a representation of another folder I've titled noindex.html so you can see how you have to actually um, type in noindex.html after that preceding forward slash after the folder that I created called my angular app 5 which is sitting right here so that's it you just want to put the container that your application is going to be sitting in so you can see here how that works um, all you have to do is type in the container and uh, it finds the index.html file. That's it. So.
that's all you want to do there and uh, that's it so let's check that out again so you can either come up here and paste that in here just like that and uh, save it which I'm going to do or you can come down here and you can do this to all your products type in dash dash base dash ace to rev and then go ahead and after that space and type in your folder and you can press go and this will take care of everything for you sometimes I've had issues with that um, so I always just save it myself in the base href but if you save it up here top in the base href like I have it now and then you run this like it is now you're gonna end up with errors it's gonna load extra extra stuff in there um, you know I've had my C drive label with some extra steps in there you don't you don't want to have it saved already and then run this so it's bad practice. so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and then uh, you go ahead and run it and you're gonna get a distribution folder and the distribution folder we're gonna go ahead and take and we're going to load up into the internet uh, here is my file Zilla opened uh, here is my distribution folder it simply uh, says uh, DIST and you will see it in your to-do app um, file directory here um, you don't want to add this actual folder you want to add the contents of this folder online because if you're adding the folder in by itself then you're adding another step so in the index.html base ref here you would actually have to type in dist folder dist in order to access your application um, on there. Well, actually, you'd have to put in dist plus my Angular app, so it would look like this. If you just drop the dist folder in there, um, you'd have to add this in there, just like that. See, that closes it off and, and shows that it's looking for that index HTML. See how that, when you press that, when I press that forward slash, this pops up? Because it's looking for a file. That's what it's telling that. It's looking for the index.html file. So that's what that means. Um, You'd have to type it in like that if you just drop the folder in there. That's that's the only difference. It's all a matter of rearranging your file path. That's it. Um, get that going on and boom, drop it on there and here you go. Uh, here's a working version of mine um, in my file directory, which this is the domain surfingthecoast.com um, forward slash my Angular 5 app. And that's it. And I can add cool stuff um, into my little to do app here and keep adding new tasks. And it works just great. And I can delete these and. That's it. So I hope you uh, enjoyed it and thanks.